At Oxford College of Business, we offer world-class business qualifications awarded by some of the best universities in the world. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The former finance minister says the whole country is insured. He says the compensation for those affected by last year's flood was paid via the government insurance scheme and amounted to 1,300 billion rupees. This number is hard to believe. He says 1,500 have been insured this time. There is a crisis situation in the country regarding the reliability of the statements of the former Minister of Finance. This is the result of tampering with statistics and data under his authority, which has never occurred under any finance minister of this country. The no-confidence motion against Minister Ravi Karnanayaka regarding altering the statistics in the budget has not yet been taken into debate, and the motion is still in the order book of the parliament. Therefore, we are requesting an investigation into the issue next week. The former chairman of Bank of Ceylon also expressed his views regarding the matter. The Auditor General says that he cannot provide any statement regarding the 2016 accounts of the Ministry of Finance. He also says that he did not receive the evidence which he asked for. Therefore, the financial statements of 2016 were presented to the Parliament without the views of the Auditor General. This is a violation of the Constitution. As the head of the institution, the Finance Minister has neglected his responsibilities. To conceal the incident, the Finance Minister was given a different portfolio.